Hi, this is Julie with Three Sisters Sundries. Today I am back to work on my foundations decor board for Easter. Um, if you didn't see the last episode, I did the title and this bottom corner uh, square. So today I'm going to work on this one and possibly this one. Uh, I have cut out a very intricate file from Miss Kate's Cuttables of an Easter basket full of eggs. So I am just going to fast forward this and I've got all my pieces laid out so uh, you can watch me put it together. Here we go! Gosh, I need scissors. There we go. Glue that bow back down. Okay, so there is that very intricate Miss Cut. Miss Kate's cuttable file um, of the Easter basket. I love it. I think it turned out really cute. So hopefully it will fit just right in my square that I have reserved for it. So let's take a look at that and decide on a background paper. Uh, let's see. I'm do this square here. So. Oh yes, that fits just right. Okay, so we need to figure out a background paper. Um, I don't know, things are uh, kind of busy. Uh, maybe that. I think this green stripe will work. That won't distract from it too much. So let's get that glued on. I am using Beacon Zip Dry Glue. It does have a bit of an odor. Uh, so if you get some of this, make sure you use it in a well-ventilated room. Okay, we'll just glue that. I almost hate to use this 
back because the front is so cute too, but um I'll move that down just a little bit. Okay, let me get our let me put the lid back on that real quick. Okay, then we'll get our little let me zoom you back out a little bit. get our cutter. I'm just using the Cricut Safety Blade or whatever it's called. I can't remember, but it's the Cricut Craft Blade. And then I think we need to trim this very edge here. Let's see about our basket. Um, may want to pop that up so it doesn't get lost in that background. So let's see, I have some bigger dot or squares here. Now we will just place that right there. And there we go. That looks pretty cute. I love that cut file. And I found some cute little pattern papers to make it look like the eggs were decorated on most of them. So let's get that one in. Oh, that's looking pretty cute. This is going to be a very pastel uh, look for this frame. So, for this one, I am going to try something a little bit different. Um, I cut three of these cut files. This is also from Miss Kate's Cuttables of this, just this silhouette bunny with some, I don't know, uh, dandelion things. I don't know what they are. Anyway, little flowers. Um, and I'm going to kind of layer them with pop dots uh, to uh, um, give some interest. So I need to decide on a paper. Everything is so busy. Let's see. Maybe I wonder if this one would work. Let's see. Uh, it kind of gets lost on that. Let's see if the polka dot. Mm, the polka dot one might be okay. Actually that blue one that I've already used would look good. Let's see if this one is too too busy. Hmm. I'm thinking maybe that one would look okay. I think so. Okay, I'm going to cover my board with this one. Hopefully it won't be too, too busy. So let's get our board. Actually, so you don't have to watch me do this again, I will be right back after I get my board covered. Okay, I've got my board covered. I think I'm going to turn it this way. And my idea for this is to put the bottom layer straight down and then cut off some of the other layers and pop up just a few things. So I think to get it to fit, I'm going to have to cut off these last grass blades. And let's see, I'll make sure my top one 
is the best one. So I've got a few little um, little paper fuzzies that did not cut completely, so I'm going to try and get those off. Okay, that one looks pretty good as a complete file, so I think that one will go on the bottom. And then let me cut off these little grass blades on this one. And I think I want to pop this layer, uh, maybe the bunny, the grass, and this one flower. So I'm going to cut these flowers off. of the flower and where did I oh, I think that's good so need some pop dots probably gonna have to use some of my minuscule ones to do uh, that flower so let's see Here we go. I'm going to try and line this up. So hopefully I can get it. Hmm. Not too bad. I think my little tiny ones are bigger than or taller than my ones that are on his body, but I think that'll work. Okay, and then my last layer, I want to do just the bunny. So I think what I'm going to do, oh, just noticed my glue is un, unplugged there. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is cut his little oh, sorry about the phone I forgot to turn off the sound uh, maybe I will leave some of the grass attached let's see how that looks mm, I don't really like that Sorry, my camera died, and it's been a day or two since I worked on this, but I am back to finish this little square. 
Uh, so here is my bunny that I'm going to pop up on foam tape. I am not real happy with um, how I cut that, but oh well, I'm going to go with it. So I'm just going to put some foam squares on the back of him. Or her, whichever. Pink might be a girl. I'm going to add a few extra than I normally would because these little ears on this one are a little higher up, so I want to make sure the middle of his body is supported. Okay, oh, and I kind of bent that a little bit. Okay, and then line it up really well, as close as I can get it. Not doing a very good job. There we go. And then I found this little pink pom-pom that I think I want to put right there. So we'll get out some Fabri-Tac. I should have been having this upside down so I could get it out. Get the goobers off. Come on, glue. Here it comes. Let's put a little Fabri-Tac on that little tail, or on that little pom-pom and add it right there. So cute. Okay, let's put that in here and zoom back out so you can see the whole thing. And this is what we have so far. So next time I will finish off these two squares and I have to figure out what I want to do. So I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.